Alright everybody, so today we're going to be going over some new rumors about the NetherRealm Studios, about their next game. So basically, Ed Boon about a couple weeks ago teased that there was supposed to be this big announcement coming this month. And at the time of recording this, it should be about four days away. And some people are speculating that it'll be their next fighting game. And their next fighting game that most people are thinking is Injustice 3. After the huge success of Injustice 2, even though it was a short-lived game, people said it died out really quickly, it is still very fun. I find the story a lot better than Mortal Kombat 11's. However, there is this new rumor going around that their next fighting game is actually not Injustice 3, it is actually a Marvel fighting game. And if this is actually the case, NetherRealm, take my money, please. People are saying it's gonna be Marvel vs. DC, and I hope they don't do that. Because Mortal Kombat vs. DC was by far the worst Mortal Kombat game ever made in the series. If pro players are struggling to hit combos, then maybe that game should have been worked on a bit better. Especially combo-wise, because that's the point of Mortal Kombat. It's supposed to have flashy combos. Not these hard link one frame combos like in MK vs. DC. And just imagine what they can do. Instead of playing Sector, you could play Iron Man. I feel like they would have similar play styles considering they're both kind of, kind of humanoid robots. Instead of playing Goro, you're playing Hulk. Instead of playing Raiden, you're playing Thor. Obviously, Marvel needs to step up their game video game wise because the Marvel video game that came out has its mixed reviews, but what I've noticed, they've mostly been negative. Ed Boon was interviewed when Mortal Kombat 11 came out asking questions and one of the questions he was asked was something about their next fighting game and Ed Boon was saying he would love that he loves the idea of making a Marvel fighting game and usually he would troll his fans but the fact that he said he would love to do a game like that and now all these rumors are coming out so recently into a new announcement that's kind of got you to think hey something's happening here well I got you guys here thank you so much for all the support and please consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this also when I'm going to be going over is Ermac being teased by WB on Twitter. So basically WB put on Twitter this picture of Ermac and along with a quote saying, we are many, you are one, your abilities pale before us. And notice in that image, it is Ermac from MK11. He's in the game, however, he is dead in the crypt. And people have been speculating, this is a tease that he's gonna be in Combat Pack 3. Do I think this is the case? Yes. MK11 is in kind of a dead spot right now. There's not new updates coming out. There was a small balance patched update, but it wasn't anything huge. So if they were to come out with something huge, like a character reveal, that would be amazing. And what I hope for Combat Pack 3, I hope we see the return of Reptile, Ermac, obviously Kenshi, because Kenshi's my favorite Mortal Kombat character of all time, but I doubt it. They said they will not repeat DLCs. However, Rain was in MK9, and now he's DLC in MK11. So meaning that rule must be like negated at this point. But anyway, that is all the NetherRealm news that I have for today. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your speculations about this whole Marvel thing. And let me know how you feel about Combat Pack 3 that's hopefully coming out very soon. Again, please like, subscribe if you, if you enjoy. And again, thank you so much for all the support.